what you are about to watch is the continuation of the Starbot dub series, Hand Plates, Season 3. You may recognize me as the voice of Gasta and Sands and the editor of the series. I understand that this is a new channel that you're not familiar with, but this is the series that you have grown to love. I hope you enjoy. I guess everyone reaches a point where they have to make a decision, no matter how late it is. I... we... kept hoping that maybe Dr. Gaster would talk to us about what was wrong, or tell us what he's hiding in that lab, or talk to someone even if it wasn't us, or ask us for help, or come back out of his spiral himself, but... he's not. He's just getting worse, and... I'm scared. If I don't do something... I might be too late. I can't let that happen. I just can't. It already got this bad because I was too scared to try harder. But even so... I hope he'll forgive me for this. Uh, hello? No, I shouldn't... No one in here. Don't be dumb, Alfie's. Okay, there's got to be something here that'll explain. Hmm? A force field? Why would he have a- Oh! Are you skeletons? You look like- like skeletons. I thought Gaster was the last one. What are you doing down here? Why are you in this, uh, holding area? Brother, do you see that? What is that? Yeah, I see it. Is that a monster? Where are their bones? Look, they've got a white coat like he does. They must be with him. Better not get too close. You... Oh! You speak the same language Dr. Gaster does. Uh, let's see. Um, my sign language is kind of rusty. Why are they moving their hands like that? Um, no idea. Do... do you not know sign language? That... that's weird. Wouldn't he have taught you? Where did you come from? How long have you been here? Are you his... family? You look too old to be his children. And who would he even... Are you his brothers? That... that doesn't make any sense either, but... What do you think they're saying? Their words look weird. I... Don't get how their face works. What's that wiggly thing behind their teeth? Why are you two down here? There must be a reason. Are you too sick? It, it doesn't look so bad in there. Maybe you're under quarantine or or you're d dangerous for some reason so he can't let anyone else see you. But why wouldn't he tell anyone? Are they talking to us? There's got to be an explanation. There must be something he's helping you with, but why didn't he... I wonder what they want. Maybe they're going to take us out and do tests on us or something. Oh, I hope not. I don't want any more tests. Oh, I better get out of here before he finds out. I... Uh, I'll come back later, alright? Maybe then I'll know what's going on. Uh... Bye. Oh, I guess they're leaving? That was weird. I wonder what that was about. You know... Let's not tell him about this, huh? If he asks. You and your secrets. Why not? They look kind of scared. <laughs> Maybe they're scared of him too. You think he'd be mad if he found out? Yeah. Well, we definitely don't want to make him mad. Um, hello? Are you two still in here? Oh, there you are. Uh, hello again. It's the weird monster again. I wonder what they want. Uh, uh, I still haven't asked him what's going on, because I'm trying to find the right time and way to tell him that I broke into his secret lab because I was worried about him. Jeez. Oh, but, uh, I saw him going to his thinking spot before I came, so we don't have to worry about him for a little while. Uh, I brought 
you something? Are you too hungry? What's that they've got? It looks bright. It's, uh, candy. Look, uh, it's okay. It's safe. I got two pieces, one for each of you. Come over here so you can get it. Looks like they want us to take it. Maybe it's food? I'm gonna go see. Careful, bro. And I can get a better look at you. Maybe that'll tell me something. There you go. <laughs> uh, wait, can I see your hand? L let me see. W-D-G. I don't think so. Okay, uh, this is, uh, this, uh, I'm sure it's not something bad. Dr. Gaster wouldn't, I don't know what he's been doing, but it can't be bad, it can't be bad, but, jeez, I need to sit down. Think, Elvis, think, you two must be what's making Gaster, uh, how he is right now, keeping you a secret, and... Whatever he's doing, maybe trying to help you with something and he can't fix it? Something like that. Something good, but, but I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what to do. I have to do something, but Asgore will know what to do. I should, I can't leave you here. I should, Asgore will know what to do. Let's, let's go talk to him, okay? He, he'll figure this out. He knows Gaster a lot better than I do. And then Gaster won't have to worry about doing all this alone anymore. We can help him. That's, that's the right thing to do, right? We just want to help. We all just want to help. Okay, okay. Asgore will fix it. Asgore will take care of it. I just have to get you to him. Okay, no, no big deal. Let's see, uh, you two just wait for a second. What are they doing? It should work the same. Come on. Uh, okay, there we go. Come on, you two. Well, I guess they can open it too. Maybe they're gonna do tests on us after all. Oh, I really didn't want any more tests. Maybe they won't be so bad. <sighs> Better get going before they get mad. Come on, come on. That's it, come on. This way, we don't have a lot of time. This isn't the normal way. Where are we going? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. This elevator should take us into the upper part of the core. Then we can take the other elevator to New Home and find Asgore. This is fine. I can do this. It'll... It's okay. It's all okay. There's... There's a good explanation for all of this. There has to be. This part of the inside looks weird. I wonder why he never took us here before. Uh, I'm starting to think that maybe we're not there anymore, bro. You mean this is outside? Are we outside right now? Oh, wow! This isn't what I expected at all. Where's all the light? Well, it's kind of red, I guess. I wonder what that means. Red and... <laughs> okay, here's the elevator. Come on, come on. We don't have much time. Let's see. Which one was the bridge? Oh, oh, don't... Don't touch that one. Not R66. Dr. Gaster, we... Uh, we don't want to. Uh, I want you to see Asgore first. Before we talk to him, uh... Jeez, you can't understand me. Uh, Dr. Gaster? Dr. Gaster, like, like this? You know who I'm talking about? Uh, don't love that expression on your face. But I'm gonna hope that means you know who I'm talking about. But he's on R66. We're going to R70. I'm pretty sure that'll take us to the other elevator. I... I guess that must be his button. Maybe things aren't allowed to press it. Uh-huh. They know him, though, so they must work with him. I wonder why we never saw them before. Maybe. Are you okay? 
You look thoughtful. I'm okay. It won't be long now. Don't worry. Everything will be fine, you two. I will always find you, no matter how far you run, no matter where you hide. What matters more to you, his life or his ideals? You must know by now that you're the expendable one. You've got choices. You're just not strong enough to make them. Alright, this should be it. Come on. Oh, we're somewhere else. Maybe the button's on magic. Weird. Ah! How did you? Dr. Gaster! Alphys! No! No, Dr. Gaster! Huh? Dr. Gaster! No! Oh, God! What have you done? What have you you two. Where on earth did you come from? Why were you in the core? You're lucky you didn't fall in. They still haven't finished the safety rails in that section. Where am I? What happened? Um, what was that? Ow. You okay? Uh, I think so. My head really hurts. Oh dear, I'm afraid I can't understand either of you. Uh, where are we? I don't know. Uh, who are we? I don't know. Uh, you're my brother, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, I remember that. You're my brother. After that... You two seem to have been through a lot. Maybe when you've had some rest, we can try and find a way to communicate and you can tell me what happened. I can't remember anything. You can stay with me as long as you like. Do not worry. It'll be nice to have company again. Uh, this guy seems okay, though. I guess. Yeah, maybe he knows what happened? Hey, do you know what happened? I'm sorry, I don't... I don't think he can understand us. Why not? I don't know. I know I saw a book about skeletons somewhere. Maybe that can help. I wonder where it is. I feel... really weird. Yeah, me too. Well... Let's see what he wants, okay? Then we can try and figure out what to do. Okay. Uh, huh? Where am I? I must have dozed off. What was I doing? I can't remember. Jeez. I should really get more sleep. Here we are, little ones. You can stay here as long as you like. Um, feel free to explore. Or, um, well, maybe some fresh clothes will make you feel more at home. Come with me. Come on. Don't just stand there. Go through. Let's see. Yes, I thought you're just about the same size. I'm afraid it'll be a little small on you, though. Um, I don't suppose you understand. Name? My name is Asgore. Asgore. Asgore? Asgore? No. Asgore? Asgore. Uh, no. Well, let's work on that later, alright? Here, you can put these on for now. Mm -hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Um, do you not know what clothes are? That's... 
Hmm. Well, I can help you, if you will allow it. Huh? Is that alright? How to ask? Hmm. Alright, hold up your arms, little one. Yes, like that. There you go. I'll stick your legs here. Yes, good. Not so hard, is it? Oh, you look different. They feel weird. Is it bad? No, it's just different. I want some! Me too! Oh, I'll help. Do what I did, okay? There you go. You two do learn fast, don't you? I'll hang on to these for you. Hmm. May I see your hand? Yes, that will. It'll only be a moment. WDG. Strange. I wonder what it stands for. P. Is that your nickname? It must be short for something. I've never seen something like this before. I really need to find that book. While most skeletons speak in fonts that are understandable to other monsters, there are unique fonts that are limited only to our race. Other monsters cannot speak them or understand them. I will refer to these fonts as ciphers. Skeletons born speaking a cipher are rare, but not unheard of. They are more common among royal boss bloodlines and are a sign of high intelligence and great potential in this author's opinion. It is nearly impossible for a skeleton born speaking a cipher to learn to speak in a more common font. This is not the case in reverse, however. Ciphers may at times be used for subterfuge, but experienced when worldly skeletons can determine someone's true font through a cipher with focus and determination. Many ciphers are one-to-one -one substitutions for common fonts, an A in a cipher is still usually an A. Sign language was the de facto standard in the Skeleton Kingdom for communication with the other monsters when a cipher was involved, since other monsters cannot see spoken words like we can. But when in dire straits, one may use a key to try and translate a written message. This is considered somewhat rude, however. I have so many questions about these two children I've found. At least they are learning how to speak very quickly. So it won't take much longer before I can ask them properly. I can't help but refer to them as children. And it's not because the little one is so small. Alright, that's enough for today, don't you think? It's time for bed. Come on. Over here. Hmm? In you go, come on. What is it? On top, like this. Um. Uh. It's... It's a bed. Mm -hmm. If you go, you'll want to get underneath the blankets, little one. Like this. There you go. Now, good night. What? Good night. Can you get the door for me? Mm. What is it? Mm. That, that's a doorknob, little one. Have you never seen a doorknob? There you are. I'm not the best cook, but... <sighs> oh, not with your hands? Use your fork! Hmm. Do you... Uh, not know how to use a fork? Have you never seen a fridge? It's called a flower. This is a fireplace. You fill the tub with water, and then you take the soap. It's a light switch. You use it to turn the lights on and off. Literally everything seems so new to them. It's strange. Shouldn't they know some of this by their age? Hello, Dr. Alphys? Uh, oh, uh, uh, hello, your majesty. Uh, what brings you uh, calling? Ugh, so stupid. I wanted to check in on how you're doing lately. I know you've been very busy. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely really busy. I'm working really hard on uh, lots of things, like uh, Metaton. Yeah, I'm making a lot of progress on his new body. Before you know it, he'll be the ultimate human-killing machine. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm sure you'll do a wonderful job. I have the utmost faith in your abilities, Dr. Alphys. Yeah, that's me, the great Dr. Alphys. I actually also wanted to ask you something. It may seem a little strange, but... What is it? Do you know any skeletons? And you don't know anyone who knows any skeletons? Um, no offense, but, um, I don't have, uh, I don't really talk to a lot of people, so, uh, and, uh, you know a lot more people than I do. You know everyone in the whole underground, right? So, uh, if you don't know someone, then there's no way I would know.
know. Sorry. No, oh, it's all right. I thought I might as well ask. What about the letters WDG? Do those mean anything to you? Uh, it doesn't sound familiar. Does it stand for something? I'm not sure myself. Well, if you hear anything that might be related, you will let me know, right? Is this some kind of puzzle you're working on? You could say that. Yeah, I suppose I shouldn't keep you from your work for too long. But do try to get some rest, all right? Uh, hello? I can't really hear you. I think there's something wrong with the connection. Uh, hello? Hello? Your Majesty, are you still there? Hello? Is someone... Hello? Who, who's there? Who is this? Ah! Did you hear any of that? I'm not an eavesdropper, darling. Maybe it was just my phone. It has been kind of glitchy lately. You two are learning so fast. Is it alright if I ask you some things? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Well, first, what are your names? Mm. What's a name? You... <laughs> well, a name is what people call you. My name is Asgore, for example. Asgore? Yes, that's right. Uh, then my name is Brother. Yes, that's my name too. That's what my brother calls me. Oh. Well, that's not... Those aren't really names, exactly. But that's all we've been called. No one has ever called you anything else? Uh-uh. Have you ever spoken to anyone else? Besides me? Uh, no. Not that I remember. What's the last thing either of you remember? Uh, you finding us, I think. Yeah, that's the last thing I remember, too. Maybe you two have amnesia. That might explain it. What about those things on your hands? Do you remember anything about those? Nuh-uh. Um, maybe these are our names. So, my name is WDG1S, I guess. Then I'm WDG2P. No, no, those aren't proper names. Especially not for skeletons. Why not? When I talk, you could see my words, right? Uh-huh. Then here, look through the book. What do my words look like? Uh, let's see. Oh! Oh, brother, look! There's your words! Huh? That's what your words look like, right there! Oh, really? This says it's Comic Sans. What do mine look like? Let's see. Uh, yeah, here it is. Yours looks like this. Papyrus. You know, what do you two think about using those as names? Comic Sans. And Papyrus. I think they suit you. What do you think about him? Uh, Asgore, right? He seems nice. Yeah, he's being really nice to us. Do you think that's normal? I don't know. It kind of feels weird. Yeah, but I don't know why. I wonder why we can't remember anything. Is that weird? Asgore seems to think it's weird. It does feel kind of weird. I get this feeling like there's something really important I'm forgetting. But I don't know what it is. Yeah. Maybe it has to do with these plate things. Maybe? I wonder what they mean. It doesn't look like it'll come off. It must be important. I guess. Hey, look at this thing I found. What is that? Maybe it goes on your hand like this. Hey, it kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? Stop that. <laughs> look at its eyes going around. <laughs> Hello, Papyrus. Your neck looks tasty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that how you laugh? I, I guess. What? What's wrong with it? Nothing. It's just... I don't think I've ever heard you laugh before. Yeah, well, I've never seen you look happy before either, so there. I look happy? Yeah, your smile's real and up in your eyes and you're relaxed and loose. What, aren't you happy? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you know, me too. Me 
Strands and papyrus continue to grow like seedlings in new sunny soil. It's amazing how quickly they learn and adapt. They're so eager too. I can hardly tear Sans away from the books he finds. He's so bright and curious. It's familiar for some reason, but I'm not sure why. Still, as they adjust to life here, I have so many questions. The amount of things they don't know, the behaviors they've learned. It's not quite that they've been treated badly, but more that they've never been treated well. When I gave Papyrus a compliment yesterday, his face lit up like he'd never heard one before in his life. Sans' health never seems to improve no matter how much he eats or rests, and Papyrus insists that it's normal. It's all so strange. And that scar on Papyrus' neck. What? What is it? Did I do something wrong? No, no, you did not do anything wrong, little one. Then why are you looking at me like that? Where did it come from? Where did they come from? Someone taught them that cipher, and that someone had to be a skeleton. But skeletons were the first on the front lines during the war, along with the goblins and the imps. They were brave, but... There were no survivors. So where did these two come from? Where are their parents? Where is their family? And if they have neither, where have they been hiding this entire time? The underground isn't that big a place. And how could they have hidden for so long and yet know so little about the world? It's like they just appeared out of thin air. But that's impossible, isn't it? What's up, bro? My brother deserves to be happy. That's the feeling I get. Did you see the look on his face? There's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. Like, before we got here... Then what's this? Why do I have this weird scar and you don't? And why did he look like that when he saw it? He didn't get treated like he should. I don't want him to look at me like that. I don't want anyone to look at me like that. And I get the feeling that maybe I didn't help as much as I could have, wherever we were and whatever we were doing. And I want to fix that. You know, maybe it's because only the coolest skeletons have scars like that. The coolest? I feel like I owe it to him to be better. Yeah, like, a scar like that means you're really strong and probably did something really heroic to get it. Like in those stories Asgore read us. You remember? You think so? I just want him to be happy. Definitely. But then, why don't you have one too? Uh, I don't need one. You're cool enough for both of us, huh? I guess. Maybe it could be something cool. Uh, would it be uncool if maybe it was just something between us like a secret maybe we'd both know it was something cool but really that's all i want sure no problem hey what do you think this color look good on me sans you don't have to what it's the coolest fashion right now does it look good yeah yeah i think it does that's all i ever want Let's see. Whoa! What's that? What? What's going on? Um, this? It's magic, little one. Have you never seen fire magic before? What's magic again? Monsters are made of magic. Oh! How'd you know that? I don't know. It just sounded right. Your brother is correct. Monsters are made of magic. It comes from our souls. Does it reflect the self like a mirror? Yes, I suppose you could describe it like that. Where'd you hear that, bro? Uh, I... Don't know? 
Well, anyway, monsters use magic in all kinds of ways, from little tasks around the house to self-defense to expressing how we feel. Self-defense? Yes, if it comes to that. We can create patterns of bullets like so. Wow! So, can I make little fires too? Oh no, every monster's bullets are unique to them. I'm sure skeletons like you would make bones. Bones? Bone bullets? That sounds kind of cool, huh? Yeah, it does! I want to make bones! You know, monsters can also use magic to spar with each other, for fun or for practice. What? Sparring is just a play fight between friends. No one gets hurt, you get to learn more about each other, and you get to show off the patterns you've been working on. You get to show off how cool you are! I want to spar! I want to learn how to do that! I'd be happy to teach you, Papyrus. Although, I'm not sure it'd be exactly safe for you, Sans. I'm very careful, but with your- With my condition, I know. Oh, don't worry, brother. I'll teach you. Asgore can teach me, and I'll teach you, and we'll all get really good and cool at it. And I'll be super duper careful, Sans, so you won't have to worry at all. I don't know. It still seems dangerous to me. Nah. If he says he won't hurt me, then he won't. I trust you. I trust you too, Sans. Well then, we'll get started tomorrow. I'm sure you've never used magic before, Papyrus. Your patterns are very advanced and... familiar. Really? I'm doing a good job? Yes, although I can't quite place... But I'm not even hitting you. You keep moving out of the way. Oh, that's just... So, what's on the schedule today? Survival and combat. Combat? You sure you got the right one of us? Cause... Because you inflict pitiful damage, no matter the circumstances, and just one successful strike would kill you, even from a child. I'm aware of your limitations. It's hard to imagine you lasting more than one turn against a human, as things are. Turn? Hmm. You've played games with your subject too, haven't you? Yeah. That is how humans see combat. You will act, and they will wait for you to finish, and then they will act, and you will wait for them to finish. And so it'll go until one of you dies or escapes. But why? That's dumb. That's how they work. It's not a game if there aren't rules. They will always take turns, no matter who they're facing. Always. How do you know? Why do humans hate us so much? I don't think they hate us. They are stronger than us, and killing us benefits them. So they kill us. That's all there is to it. Kill or be killed. So it goes. Even someone as weak as you is not exempt. Why even bother doing this? It's not like anyone will ever come down here. I'm making progress, but I still can't predict the future. Yet. There are few drawbacks to teaching someone basic skills, and many potential benefits. Even for me? Even for you. Now, you cannot attack, and you cannot defend. So if you can't run, you must find other ways to survive. There's no room for error. I'm glad at least one of you inherited that you're smarter than Subject 2. If anything will save you, or at least buy you time, it'll be that. It's all you have. For now, at least, you should learn how to- Dodge! He's dodging! Yes, that's right, Sans. How do you know that? I- I don't know. Oh! Do you think you can teach my brother how to do that? Well, I can teach him it in theory, but he'll have to practice with you, just to be safe. Is that all right, Sans? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Darling, have you spoken to Asgore about opening up the airwaves? I think this could really be my big chance at stardom. Uh, yeah, I was going to. Hey, uh, can I ask you something? Since you, since I made you, your memory is infallible, right? Absolutely! Everything encoded on these memory chips is 100% completely, totally accurate. Okay, yeah, so... Do you... ever... Get the feeling... something's missing? What do you mean? I, I don't know. It's just this feeling I get. Do you remember how I became royal scientist? Of course, darling. You showed my fantabulous self to Asgore, and he was so impressed with the robot with the soul, he promoted you immediately. Since then... And... you're sure that's what happened? Like I said, darling, 100% completely, totally accurate. 
You remember it too, don't you? Yeah, I do. So I guess that must be what happened. But I don't know. Something doesn't feel right. This is my office. I've been here since Asgore hired me, but I don't remember where anything is. And all these binders, I... The results are all sound, but the methods are full of holes. There's big pieces of it all missing, and... And I have no idea what they said, but it's supposed to be my work, right? It's credited to me. Why can't I remember more of it? Why is so much of it redacted? Am I really supposed to be here? Imposter Syndrome is so lost here, Alphys. Forget about it and get Asgore to let me on TV. I'm telling you, once I finally ascend to my rightful place in front of thousands and thousands of bored, pleading eyes, we'll both be so famous that you won't have time to spare a second thought about such trivial things. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Howdy, little ones. Hey. Howdy, Asgore. You know, I was thinking, since the two of you can speak so well now... Yeah, we're super duper goodly at talking great. Right, Sans? Nailing it, bro. Uh, yes, but I thought you two might want to meet some other monsters. Other monsters? Why? Do they want something? No, not for any kind of game, just to talk to them and get to know them. Become friends, perhaps. Friends? Friends? Aren't friends those people who love you? And say nice things to you and are proud of you, and say you did a good job and you're very smart, and they give you lots of hugs and kisses all the time. Uh, well, not not all of those things, perhaps. It's more like you and your brother. You are friends, for example. You like and care about each other and have fun together. And I can make more friends just by talking to other monsters? I want friends! I want all the friends! Can we go talk to people right now? Can we, can well, we, can we, can we? It can might we, be a little more difficult than... I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Sans is normally so quiet, but he's also so yeah, observant. Yeah, he did, he did. That served him very yeah, well. I totally agree. It didn't take him very long to get the hang of it. Although he never stayed too far from his brother's side. Papyrus! Why do you want to be my friend? <laughs> Excuse me, I have a puzzle you can do. Oh, uh, I was actually... Don't worry, it's one of my best ones. It's way better than whatever you were doing. So, I was talking to- Hey, did you know my brother can read very fast? He reads all the time! The other day he was telling me about these things called molecules. Papyrus tries very hard. I try to give him some advice, but... Why don't the other monsters want to talk to me, Sans? They keep saying I'm too loud or pushy, or I don't listen, or they don't like puzzles. Nah, they're just intimidated by having someone as cool as you come up and talk to them. Really? Yeah. I mean, you're the best monster who ever lived, and you just roll up and start talking to them? No wonder they freak out. But that's just too bad for them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad for them. I'm really pretty great, huh? You're the greatest. Don't ever change. Sans isn't being particularly helpful. Well, at least they have each other, for now. Maybe Papyrus will get the hang of it in time. Hey, uh, Asgore. Yes? I was reading the book, and it said skeletons are good at color magic. Blue magic, right? That can't be right. Yeah, that's what I thought. And that's why I wanted to ask. What do you mean, that can't be right? Skeletons can't use blue magic. It's bad. Yeah, that definitely can't be right. Is everything in this book true? Why is blue magic bad? It's bad because... It... Why is it bad? I don't know. It just is, isn't it? It's bad magic. If you use it, you'll get hurt. You're never supposed to use it, no matter what. No, where did you get that idea? Skeletons use blue magic for all sorts of good things. They used it to help monsters who were stuck, or hold their children, or help the elderly. Or could you use it to hurt someone? What is it? What do you see?
Well, all magic can be used to hurt someone, but that doesn't mean it has to hurt someone. It all depends on how it is used. The next time we spar, Papyrus, you can turn my soul blue, and you will see that it is completely harmless. Trust me. Well, if you say so, but only a little, okay? Of course, you'll see. There is nothing to be afraid of. You're doing wonderfully, Papyrus. You have a real aptitude for this. Are you sure? I don't know. I am definitely sure. He's been like this since it happened. I think he's still in shock. It must have been his first. Has he not said anything to you? No, not a word. Do you think you could try to talk to him? He might respond to you. You see, blue magic is no more dangerous than any other kind of magic. And not every monster can use color magic, you know. In a way, it makes you special. Sort of like a special attack. Greetings, my child. Wingdings? Isn't that right? Uh, how are you feeling? I know that you've been through a great deal lately. Especially what just happened. Yes, that's a good way to think of it. You can even lift me over your bullets yourself if you think I'm having trouble. It can help people, just like I said. Right. Right, nothing bad's happening, nothing bad. Um, uh, sorry, I'm still a... Uh... A little tiny bit nervous, even though I don't think you're lying or anything. There's no need to apologize. You're not doing anything wrong. It's all right to be afraid sometimes. It's all right. You do not have to speak. May I share something with you? <sighs> you know, I remember how I felt when I first killed someone. But the more you use it, the less scary it'll be. Do you remember how you felt when you first turned me blue? Uh-huh. And now, it doesn't seem as scary, does it? I... guess it doesn't. I didn't think about it like that. I was attacked and feared for my life, just as you did. I remember, when it happened, feeling as though the axe shattered my soul. But instead of disappearing, it reformed in an instant. Stronger than before, but different. Some parts of it were cold, numb, like a scar. And I knew that I had changed. Something in me was different, and I could not go back. When I had to fight again, it was easier than before to... It'll get easier and easier each time you use it. You'll see. You don't have to stop being afraid all at once. Just one step at a time. It's not something to do carelessly, or thoughtlessly, but what you are going through, you are not alone. Do you understand what I mean? I know I cannot take away your pain. I'll try. It's hard though. I know, but you are very brave, Papyrus. But please, believe me when I say that they would have wanted you alive. I want you alive. And as long as I am with you, I will do my best to protect you. So you won't have to do such things again. Okay. I'm sure you can conquer this. And I'll do my best to help you along the way. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can too. Thanks. Asgore? Yes? Is it really okay that we're staying here? Yes, of course, little one. Why wouldn't it be? Well, I was just thinking about when the other ones come back. <laughs> what other ones? The ones who had that room before we did. You know, who had all these clothes and all the toys and everything. The ones who made those pictures. Yeah, won't they want their stuff back? Oh. Oh, they... They aren't coming back. Why not? Who are they? My family. But a long time ago. What's a family? A family is... Monsters who are connected to each other. 
who share a part of their souls. Parents and children, husbands and wives, siblings and cousins. You and your brother. Your family, for example. So, are they your brothers? No, no. They were my wife and our children. Wife? Children? Ah, uh, a wife is someone you love very much. Children... Hmm. When you love someone that much, you can decide to become parents and have children together. Then those children can grow and fall in love and have children of their own. Does that happen to everyone? Everyone is because someone had children together? Yes, although the methods can differ. So, where are our parents? Yeah, if we got made, we have parents, right? Where are they? I... Uh, I do not know, I'm sorry to say. I did not think there were any skeletons left. It does happen at times that children may get lost or separated from their parents. Or abandoned. Did that happen to us? Did they abandon us? Is that why they aren't here? Why would they do that? Listen, I do not know what happened to your parents, but I'm sure that wherever they are, they love you very much. And if they are able, I know they're looking for you. And someday they will find you. I'm sure of it. Yeah. They must be looking for us. Right, Sans? I mean, how could they not want someone as great as me? They... They must want us. I bet they'll find us. Any day now. Yeah. Sure. Asgore? Yes, Sans? You said your wife and children weren't coming back, right? Yes. That is true. What happened? It's difficult to talk about. Okay, but you miss them though, right? Yes, every day. Right. What is it, Sans? You look troubled. We aren't making it worse for you, are we? You know, being here where they were. Oh, no, do not worry. I am very grateful for your company. This house has felt so empty since my wife left. I've had visitors, of course, but in general, I felt very... alone. After living with someone you love so much for so long, it's very hard to adjust to... Don't go. I'm just going to get you some water. Don't go. Please. Please don't leave me. I'll only be gone for a moment. I'll be right back not having them there any longer. At times, I thought the loneliness... <laughs> yeah, but with you two here, I can remember a little of how things used to be. It's almost like she'll come back at any moment and things will go back to normal. I'm happy to have you as long as you're willing to stay. Do not worry about such things anymore. Okay. If you say so. There you are. I thought you were going to be late again. Oh, I'm only teasing you. I know you do your best. Come, sit down. Now, tell me, how are you doing? I know you're always so busy, but it feels like ages since I've seen you. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I'm not sure I understood. Remember you? Of course I remember you. You're... My... How could I forget you? You've done so much for me over all these years. I don't know where I'd be without you. Do not be silly. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I understand. Could you speak up? I don't know what you mean. You are right here, with me. Why would I hate you? Why are you saying such things? Children? What about the children? What do you mean? My children are... My children. Do you feel better? What? Don't worry. It's not real. It's okay. There's something unusual about these two children. 
It's not just that they seem to have sprung into existence out of nowhere, but at times... Sans, you threw it onto the roof! How are we supposed to get it now? Oops. Ugh, I'll go get it, I guess. Uh, uh bro? What? They can do things. Impossible things. But I've never seen any other monster do. Man, why is this door always locked? What's in here, anyway? I'm dying to see what's- Whoa! Uh, okay? Where am I? Am I... inside the room? What's this? They don't even seem to think it's odd. It comes naturally to them, unnoticed until it's pointed out. It's as though some part of them isn't entirely monster like the rest of us, but something different. Something outside the laws of this world. Are they really skeletons? Monsters? Where did they really come from? What are they, really? Asgore. Oh, you too. Please be careful. Don't worry. My brother can't even do any damage. He can't? Yeah. Look, see? His attacks don't even work. I have no idea why. Eh, who knows? Are you sure? That is very strange. I didn't know a monster's attack could behave this way. Well, chalk another weird thing up to our score then, huh? If I may. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Oh, Asgore, are you okay? Sans, what did you do? I didn't do anything. I didn't. I, I didn't do anything. I... I'm alright. I'm alright, children. Do not be afraid. You did not do anything wrong. You... did not do anything wrong. Hey. When you look at the king, do you... You know, see anything weird? Uh, a bunch of hair and fur? No, I mean, beyond that. Like, who he is, metaphorically. Oh, uh, wow. Um, I see a good person, I think. Even if he looks sad sometimes, I think he has a good heart. He seems like the kind of guy who makes good choices to me. <laughs> That's what you see in everyone, but you don't see anything else? Like what? Like, through him, sort of. Through him? Sans, are you saying you can see the king's bones? Not, not exactly, but... I couldn't see it before, but after that thing happened, my chest feels weird, and now it sort of feels like I can see what he is, what makes him up. But it's not his bones. No, it's like, numbers. Sans, monsters aren't made of numbers. Monsters are made of magic. I know, I know. Maybe it's just me. Never mind. And anyway, if monsters were made of numbers, I'd be made of the best and biggest ones. Right? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> hey, Papyrus. What kind of beans do moms like? Edamame. <laughs> what? What's an edamame e? What are you talking about? It's a joke, see? It, it's a mom. Where did you hear that? Oh, it just found it in a book. You know, lots of books around. Where did you find this book? Uh, you know, around. Did you find it in the locked room, perhaps? Uh, maybe. I didn't, I didn't mean to do anything wrong. I just thought it was funny. I'll put it back if you want. No, it's all right. You may keep it. It might as well get some use again. What else is in the secret book? Uh, just jokes, really. There were some weird notes in it, I guess. Something about brave guys, dumb guys, something like that. Uh, did you write that, Asgore? I didn't really get it. And I've connected the irrigation system to your garden so you won't have to worry about carrying water from the river anymore. But I also added a puzzle to the mechanism you must solve if you want to use it. I'm really quite proud of this puzzle as well. <laughs> It'll be sure to be challenging. Ah. Yes, well, thank you, Gaster. I'm sure it'll be helpful. Oh, speaking of puzzles, my dear. 
I think I've come up with the perfect clue for your button puzzle. Oh? What is it? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones. Both walk not the middle road. What do you think? It's perfect. Oh, I was hoping you'd like it. I was trying different phrases all night. I know how particular you get about these things. Uh, dearest, isn't there something else we wanted to tell him? Oh. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Gaster, we have something very important we want to tell you. I'm listening. Gory and I have decided to have a baby. Gaster, did you hear me? You're giving up your immortality. Yes. That will be part of it. But... Asgore and I have thought long and hard about this, and that includes the costs. This is something we both truly want, and we feel- I understand. I have to go now. I have work I must do. Goodbye. Gaster, don't- I have to go. It's fine. I have to go. Gaster, come back! At least tell us how you- <sighs> I knew he'd take it hard. Well, after everything that's happened to him, of course it's difficult to accept. He'll come around eventually. Hmm. Oh, it's been so long I can't recall. I'm sure it'll come back to me eventually. Now, do either of you want some tea? Oh, me! I do! I'm home! Are you here? I hope so. I got some... We can cook it together! Hello? There you are! You scared me! I thought maybe I'd missed you! I'm so glad you decided to come home. I know it was hard. But now things can be better. We can do all those things you always wanted. Oh! Oh no! Hang on! No! Don't worry! I'll catch you! I'll... No! 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 I'll save you! I'll save you! Just hang on! I'll save you! I'll save you! Don't go! Just... Don't go! Don't... You have that dream again? That time, I was really close. I was so close. You'll get him someday. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Someday. Uh, looks like I'm out of tea. Sorry. That's all right, my dear. Is hot chocolate okay? That'll be fine. You want marshmallows? Hmm. No, no, that's all right. You sure? Yes, they... No, oh, they'll get stuck in my beard. Best not to bother with them. Gotcha. So, we're up to six now, huh? Yes, that's true. Six souls. All we need is one more. Just one more! It really feels close now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All those monsters out there that are suffering and miserable, who've never seen the sun! We're gonna get them out! We're gonna set them free! It's going to happen! It just... It makes my heart feel like it's on fire, you know what I mean? I want to take that last soul with my own hands! To see the humans face justice for all this! To make everyone's dreams come true! I want to save everyone, and we're going to do it! We're going to do it, Asgore! Yes, yes, calm down. When I think about it, when I think about the surface and the future, it... There's this feeling in my chest, like... Like hope! Burning hope! All we need is one more human! Just one more! Just... Ugh, you know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. Gaster, what do you think? Uh, I... I don't think it's my place to say. Gaster, I am not asking you as your king and you know that. Don't avoid the question with protocol, you can tell me. I... I don't think this is a good idea. I know how you must feel, but this time things will be different, I'm sure of it. 
Imagine having a human ally down here, Gaster. An advocate for our Psy who could convince the humans to let us go. Defend us when we were in trouble. If we can prove to the humans that we're more than what they're afraid of, maybe they will finally let us share this world as equals like we're supposed to. We can finally find real peace, together. Think about the sun, the sky, the rain, Gaster. The feeling this human gives me. I can't remember the last time I felt hope, Gaster. And now, when I look at that child, I see a future for us. For all of us. For you, Gaster. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. So? Now, now, children. Ow! <laughs> ow! Ow! Stop it! <laughs> Not so rough. Ow! I... 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 I just want you two to be happy. If this'll do it, then so be it. Don't worry, Gaster, you'll see. This human will be our future. While I do enjoy having the two of them around the house, I know they must learn the limits of our prison eventually. I thought at first the smallness of our world would weigh on them, but instead they find each place enormous and new. They are enjoying our outings at least, but I still don't understand how nothing is familiar to them. How can that even be possible? If only they could remember more of where they came from. They're more willing to wander off on their own than they have been in the past, which is good. They spend so much time together, sometimes I worry that they don't know who they are when they are apart. San seems particularly taken with the hallway outside the throne room. He was very reluctant to leave after he saw it. I'll have to take him back again later. I did not show them the basement. Maybe another day. Today I thought I'd give the two of them a surprise. It's almost giftmas, and I was sure to be there first, as far as their memories are concerned. So I thought I'd make it special for them. Here we are, little ones. Snowed in town. I'm sure you'll meet someone very special here, in just a moment. But first, I have to- Sans? Sans, what's the word for seeing something that didn't really happen again? Uh, deja vu, I think. I am very deja vu right now. What do you mean? Have you two- Sans? Sans! Sans, this is it! Hey, wait! Where are you going? Sans, look! This is it! This is our house! Our- Oh? But- We have to get inside! How do we get inside? It's locked! Well, it's been abandoned for as long as I can remember. Hmm. It should be- Yes, there it is. How did I- Really it? I can't believe it! After all this time! Uh, I'm not saying you're wrong, but if this place has been abandoned a real long time, then why is there all this furniture in here? Oh, there's food in the fridge even! I... I never thought about it. Now that you mention it, that's strange. Oh, Sans! Upstairs! Come upstairs! See, look! This has to be our house! Just look at this beautiful piece of art! Only skeletons could appreciate something this magnificent. I mean, a, a dog could live here too. They like bones. No, this is our house. I'm sure of it. What's a memory, but backwards? Your riddles are getting pretty good, bro. Sans, I'm being serious. <sighs> I know. Maybe this was where we used to live. Before. Or where we're supposed to live from now on. One of those. I know this is it. Everything tells me it is. I mean, sure, but we kind of, sort of, live with Asgore, don't we? Children, may I speak with you, please? Somewhere, I knew this day would come. I knew that it was all just a fantasy. Such things are no longer meant for me. 
I do not deserve it after what I've done. My anger. My cowardice. Your Majesty! Your Majesty, I heard. I... I'm sorry. There is no justice, only strength. You said that when we were first trapped down here. Your Majesty? Do you still believe that? I... what I've seen, evidence suggests that it does still hold true, but... Azriel told me what happened before he died. Humans killed him, Gaster. He didn't even fight back. All he wanted was to honor a human he loved's dying wish. And now they both are gone. Humans killed him. Does that surprise you? <laughs> Humans have always been afraid of us rising against them. Those in power will do anything to keep it. Gaster. Yes, your majesty? With enough human souls, a monster could become powerful enough to break the barrier. Is this true? <laughs> yes, that's what all current knowledge on the nature of soul absorption indicates, but- Tell me, Gaster. Do you think we can live in peace with humans? I- Tell me honestly. I don't want you to do anything rash, your majesty. Do you think peace with humans is possible? I believe that as long as we are trapped down here at their mercy, we can never truly be safe. But I don't think- Then, that is it. There is only one way forward for our race. Your majesty, if you are thinking of- you are upset, you are not thinking rationally. I know you don't really want to do this. This isn't who you are! I know who I am! I am the father of two dead children who's lost everything to humans over and over and over again. My land, my people, my home, my belongings, my freedom, my family. And now it's time for it to end. There is no justice, only strength. Your Majesty, please, you're upset, I know you're angry, but if you're thinking of declaring war, it won't, it's not feasible. The Queen... How many more times does this have to happen? How many more times can we let this happen? Please, if you just calm down, we can find a solution. We can figure out what to do. I... I'll fix it. I'll find another way. Something else. But don't... Don't do this. Please don't. How can you say that? How can you say that to me? Look me in the eye and tell me you don't want all humans dead, Gaster. After everything they've done to you. Done to me. You can't. You want it just as I do. I want... I want to feel like I and my... The people I care about is safe. I... There is no justice, only strength. Your Majesty, Asgore, please, think about the Queen. She wouldn't want this. She doesn't want this from you. You know that. I can't lose. If you give me time, I'll think of a solution. I'll find some other way, but you must. I have an announcement to make. Sans? Hey, Asgore. Uh, sorry I didn't tell you where I was going. It's alright. I got the feeling you would be here. You really like this place, don't you? I don't know if that's how I'd put it, but... Something like that, yeah. I don't suppose you've changed your mind. Look, somewhere, you gotta know that this isn't where we're supposed to be, right? I'm not saying you wouldn't keep us forever if you could, and that's really cool of you and everything, but... I don't know if we ever did anything just by ourselves. You know what I mean? I get this feeling that even before you found us, there was always someone or something in the way. And 
I don't want to leave an attack lying around by accident and end up hurting you, so you'll be safer without me around anyway. Sans, I'm not worried about such things. I know, I know. But it's not just one thing. That's what I'm trying to get at. I want to try doing stuff by myself for once. You know, see if me and Papyrus can stand on our own two feet. And no offense, but you know he can get curious sometimes. And I don't want him walking into any basements he shouldn't. And if another human falls down here, I don't want him around when you find him. And you don't want that either, am I right? I... I should have known you. <laughs> I... What I've done, I had to do... What people need me to, right? Sorry. Deja vu again. Please, forgive me. It's my duty. I'm not really who you should be apologizing to. But it's not really any of my business anyway. My brother, though? He's my business. You know what I mean? I understand. And you are right. I did know somewhere that this couldn't last. With what I've done, I knew. And I suppose if you stayed with me, you would not find who you are really looking for. Who are... Your real parents. Who you really are and where you really came from. I know there must be answers, even if I do not know where. And I cannot in good conscience keep you from discovering the truth about yourselves, whatever that may be. But even so, I am glad you allowed me to be a part of your lives, even for a little while. Yeah. Me too. All right, I packed you some lunches in case you get hungry. Just stick to the path and you'll be there in no time. The underground is not a very big place, as you've seen. Yeah, we'd have to try to get lost. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're going to go home and everything is going to make sense and we'll remember everything and it's going to be super duper great. You should come live with us. Papyrus, we've been over this. I have to stay here, I have duties. It's okay, bro, we can visit. Oh, yes, we should definitely do that. We can tell you how amazing our new house is! Yes, and you are both more than welcome to come back and visit any time. My doors are always open to you. Don't be afraid to ask someone for help if you need it, and please be careful. Especially you, Sans. I- Don't worry, I'll take care of him! Not even the smallest thing will get past my bony defenses! All I'll to take is one thing, after all. Hmm. Oh, Papyrus? Before you go, I wanted to give you something. Both of you, be good, won't you? Uh, yeah, I was planning on it. I know. Do you mind if I speak with your brother privately for a moment? Listen, I want to pay your way until you and Papyrus can support yourselves. It'll be no trouble on my part. I don't know, I mean... Please, I just want to know you're taken care of. <sighs> all right, all right. If it'll make you feel better. And... There is something else as well about your brother. What about him? It... Your brother has a rare gift of only seeing the good in people. Things they have done or even things they may do. And while many people do have good in them, just as many have bad in them as well. What? Like, you think I can do something about a bad person? You joking? I mean, look at me. I can't protect my brother. I can't protect anyone. I don't think that's true, Sans. I don't know if Papyrus doesn't want to see the bad in people, or he just can't. But he won't. Even if it'll get him hurt. And it will get him hurt. But you can see people, Sans. Good and bad. And that, not strength, is what he needs from you. You are both greater than your limitations. As long as you two stay together, you can protect the other from danger. <laughs> Are you trying to talk yourself out of worrying about us or something? Perhaps, but I shouldn't keep you any longer. Papyrus will get impatient. Good luck, Sans. 
Yeah, you too. And thanks, you know. You were really nice to us for no reason, and not everyone would do that. You're a good guy. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You know, when you're not doing what you have to, and all that. Mm. Go on, your brother is waiting. I'll see you again someday. Go on. Howdy, Dr. Alphys. Now, nothing's wrong. I just wanted to check in with you and see how things are going. Oh. Uh, hi, Asgore. Um, you know, same old, same old. Metaton is really starting to make a name for himself. He has so many new ideas for development. It's nice to see someone with passion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... I hope... Uh, I mean, yeah, he's got lots of plans. He's real busy. As I'm sure you are as well, and I do not mean to keep you long. I just wanted to let you know that I'm thinking of you, and I cannot wait to see what you'll come up with next. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I ask you something? Who... Who was the royal scientist before me? Oh. Uh, you know, I can't say I've thought about it. I don't remember, now that you mention it. It was a long time ago. Was there even one? There must have been, but... Well, it's not important now, though, is it? You're doing a great job. Yeah. I was just wondering. Thanks. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Remember, if you have anything on your mind, you can feel free to talk to me anytime. Yeah. I will. Thanks. Bye. <sighs> hey, are you I might have to do some I found it on your body. It's almost complete. Want to come over? Uh, of course. Anytime that's good for you. Cool. I mean, I can make time for you anytime you <sighs> do.